my lovelies, it's Veronica and as you can see the setup's a little bit different today because I'm doing, I'm filming a makeup video collaboration with the lovely Eleanor, also known as Blonde El here on YouTube. Now Elle and I, we've known each other for about a year or so. I remember when she only had probably about 80 or 100 subscribers and she went into thousands now. She's grown so much in real life as well as in YouTube as well. And I love her name, I absolutely love Eleanor as a name. It's a very strong name and she is one strong lady as well. She's so much fun. She mainly does vlogs now, as far as I can see from her channel, which is fun because you sort of get to know somebody and see their life and stuff like that. I would do vlogs a little bit more as well if I had the proper equipment and unfortunately, I know people say equipment isn't important, but um, I don't even have a proper editing laptop so I can actually cut videos and things like that but that's for a different video which I'm working on anyways but yes this is a two-part collaboration we're gonna do makeup looks so this is one of the makeup looks and in the vocals there will be another one so I'm so happy that she's doing this with me we're thinking about doing a pan challenge but I'm absolutely absolutely terrible at updating on pan challenges at the moment which I have to update on too, so um, I thought something like this would be a little bit different and let's get into it basically. So she agreed to do this with me, which I'm very happy with. I'm very excited to see what she came up with as well. And it's a festival look. Now, it's summer, well, it doesn't really look like summer outside right now, but it's the festival season, so I know Glastonbury is over, but I thought, well, let's just do a festival look. So I'll be coming on and off on camera and finishing things off of camera because this can't be too long, unfortunately. So um, hopefully we can do a throwback next year and um, it's going to be a lot easier for me to film. And this is my third third time I'm filming this and I'll make sure that I'll put the makeup looks the two that I created somewhere here. Now the first one I really loved, the second one I wasn't too sure about and God knows what I'm gonna come up with now. But I'm gonna start, I'm gonna list all the products that I'm using in the description below because I might forget to but to tell you as I go along and I will have a little bit of a talk as well. So the first one I'm using is the uh, Carity Professional Matte Palette which looks like this. Really nice matte colours and I got it off of um, Amazon so God knows what's inside of it so fingers crossed you'll be able to see what I'm doing so I'm taking some yellow and just putting it basically not all over my eyelid but on the top of my top half of my eyelid so I mean with festival looks I think it can be more bold um, and you know people are using glitter and sparkles and crowns and all sorts of stuff which I'll be using as well but not crowns but I have some sparkles and some glitters so I'm doing the same thing on the other eye and I'm gonna say something and I can't forget <laughs> forgot what now oh, oh oh it's gonna be fun to taking this off because I've got to go to the hairdressers today so you might see me tomorrow I'm actually it's the weekend <laughs> jumping a lot around here is the weekend and tomorrow I'm actually filming an unboxing which I'm very excited about as well so I'm gonna take some pink now I do like me some pink but I'm gonna take the makeup forever pink just there which I think will work better just don't know which brush yet so we'll soon find out if this works or not so just on top of my eyelid oh that's pretty I wanted something fun something summery something colorful um, and yeah I'm just gonna you know have fun with this because I don't do makeup looks too often anymore I will want to start again soon hopefully um, Need to get back. I need to get back into schedule. I need to get back into filming. It's just been so busy, and a lot of work and work. Um, so yeah, and I've been moving around my in my bedroom. So some of the filming, li the light isn't always as good. So I've decided that actually I'm gonna keep my desk under my window because then I can do things like this, film makeup looks. Oh. A little bit on those as well, why not? So I'm just gonna pull this in a little bit into the crease as well, just like this. And then, ooh, that looks interesting. Oh no, that's, oh no, not hard to it. I'm gonna take a lighter baby pink um, and just put some into 
in the corner there we go I really really enjoyed this makeup forever palette the eyeshadows are so good and now actually as we are th this is gonna be a little bit of a tobacco talk video as well guys the modern renaissance modern renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills that's what I'm to say the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette and you know, I'm waiting for reviews from people that are not bloggers or uh, no um said that wrong you know those people that get it for free <laughs> so the big 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 youtubers basically I'm um, I've seen one um, which wasn't a positive one but I'm waiting for people to review it to see if I want to buy it because I'm looking for some ultimate shades but um because I got lots of reds and stuff, um, reds and burgundies and stuff, but I want like olives and blues and I think, oh, there's a freaking cat, <laughs> oh, it's a little tiger, it's just on top of the fence, so it's quite funny, but yeah, so I was thinking about getting that, but um, I'm not entirely sure, I think people aren't sure about it either, apparently it's not as good, and obviously modern renaissance, let's be honest, I think that's the perfect palette for people that love warm tones, um, but I do want some cool ones as well. So just a little bit of highlighter. And this is a time when I'm going to come off camera, so I'll be back just in a sec. Okay. Well, yeah, we're filming. All right. So I'm back. So basically what I did, I did some eyelashes, some mascara, um, a little bit of blush. And I finish off the under eyes with um, some blue as well, so in my waterline. And yeah, unfortunately this is necessary because if I put this on, did this on camera, it would have been already 15 minutes longer than it is. And yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I wish I could. I I'm so looking forward to next year. Anyways, I'm going to use the NARS um, Orgasm Blush and hope that I can feel, I can put some mascara on the bottom of my eyelashes and lately all the mascaras I've been using are wet, just so so wet um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna use some NARS Orgasm Blush on my cheeks and not just that, I'm just gonna take it a little bit further up around here quite funny, cause my back window I have, it's my garden uh, well, I'm renting, which is my landlord's garden. Um, <laughs> but um, there is an alleyway between the garden, or my garden, and the opposite house. So you can see people walking around and hoping that they actually don't stare into my window. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use some a highlighter as well, which is the Mara Luminizer, um, which is my absolute favorite and just sort of brighten up my skin a little bit because I feel the festival is supposed to be bright so yeah a lot of highlight but the fun part just begins and I got some festival face glitters a couple one pink and one white so I'm gonna use the pink ones first and sparse because the last time I just used way too much now I'll have to hoover again <laughs> So a uh, brush, there we go, some glue, this is like a festival face glue that I have, um, which is a fixing gel, basically. So I'm just gonna dab some on my cheek, so that be, and then the brush, I was gonna use my finger, but then the brush into the glitters. And my hair gets everywhere as well. Now the eyeliner I've used is actually like a um, neon UV liner and they come in these little tubes and I've got like 12 colors or something but it takes forever to dry forever because it's basically just like a um, to sort of play with so like a Halloween type of thing um, so if I did that on camera, I think we will be here till Christmas. But Christmas is approaching quickly, so it might not be that long. Hair everywhere. My hair gets stuck. I'm gonna. I'm going to the hairdresser. She's gonna be like, "Why do you have glitter in your hair?" I'm just trying to even it out because I got too much in here. 
not enough there so I'm just gonna add a little bit more there we go and then I thought I'll create sort of like a crown I did this in one of my previous looks and I quite liked it when I was looking at it the other day Oh, need more glue. More glue around the bridge of my nose. If you've done this type of looks, let me know. I would love to see what you came up with. And obviously, if you want to do it, let me know and I'll come and check it out as well. So, yeah, I'm looking a little alien esque, but I am actually liking this. Now, I do worry that if I put some more on, I'm going to mess things up, but I'm going to use a white neon eyeliner and just put some. Now, this might have been the worst idea in the world, because what this does, it doesn't behave. <laughs> so, I'm just going to pop some around here. Just in like a random. I look like I've got shingles or something. There we go. And same thing on the. Of course, it did have to. Oh. Backers. Oh. You wanna play? This is what happens. Not everything goes according to plan. Like trying to do dots seriously. And then just fill in the gaps. And these looks are completely different. Every time I do this, I think I can do better. I can do better. I can do better. But they are really good, so I don't think I can do better. I have to get that out of my head. Okay, and then let's just add some, I do worry about the pink, I think it's, uh, the bottle doesn't close properly. It is too bright. And the white is as well, I mean it's you, it's neon, so they will be on the brighter side. Okay, so that's that. I feel like I need a little bit of purple, but just like here. Just to bring it together in a way. There we go. And I think I'm going to add some here as well. I like the purple better. It's a little bit more tame. It's like every time I add a dot, I'm thinking, I'm gonna mess this up, I'm gonna mess this up, I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> so I think we need a little bit more white. This is just like me being a perfectionist now, so I just think, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Just bringing it together. Really, there we go. And I'm gonna close this glitter down because it's gonna be everywhere. It already is, and I'm gonna open up oh, this one. Oh. I'm just so scared. It's just like, oh my god, it's like snow. Now I need more glue. Just put some more glue into my little pot. And brush. And I think I'm just gonna put that there. Now luckily everything from this is safe for your skin. So I'm not gonna hopefully get a rash of any sorts. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like it's like the perfect highlighter. <laughs> Sprinkles back and back. It's so pretty, it's so pretty, look at that. Oh, and then 
some in here. Now, would I go this crazy? Maybe. I've never been to a festival, so I might have to find out. I think if I want to, I think my first one probably be, oh, the purple has run. I think with my first one, I'll probably just do something like I would normally do. But um, then maybe the next one I will know by then. But apparently, this has been sort of a Glastonbury type of thing where people were wearing glitter this year and sort of glitter crowns and stuff like that. So. It's like every time, and certain telling you, every time I add something, I'm thinking, I'm gonna mess this up, I'm gonna mess this up, I'm gonna mess this up. Just stop here, just stop here. Because <laughs> uh, it's like, oh god, this is gonna be everywhere, I'm dead. <laughs> so much fun though, so much fun. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm just going to stop you here for a second and put the lipstick on. Right, so here we are, the finished product. That was a mistake to put some glitter on my lips, so... Hmm, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think I would have done that. In, I probably would have, but I would have learned my lesson very, very quickly. So, um, now, even though I like how it looks, I don't want to be eating glitter. <laughs> but yeah, so here we go. I've added a little bit more pink on my cheeks because I felt like it wasn't showing on the camera very well. I would normally like with my hair because I'm getting the hair to the hairdressers. Well I'm not just getting the hair, I'm going to the hairdressers not just the hair but um, I didn't want to actually do anything with my hair just because it's freshly washed and I sort of didn't want to put hairspray or do um, a hair but I would definitely put my hair up maybe get like a fake ponytail or something like I do have a pink wig at the moment so you'll see that on the pictures. Um, I would do probably something like that. But yeah, it's 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 quite I quite like this one. I think this one came up the best. But let me know which one of the three you think is the best in the comments below. I'm looking forward to see Eleanor's video. Hopefully, she enjoys mine. Thank you very much for doing this challenge with. Well, it's not a challenge; it's a collaboration with me. And I'm looking forward to part two, which I need to. I better go and get practiced on because it's gonna be so much fun. That I mean, I was excited about this one, but I'm really really excited about that one. So. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'll have to just do it one now that I have plenty of practice. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out Eleanor's. There will be links below. Everything. All the details below. And do let me know which one you like from there. And if you have this done this, please, again, let me know. And I'll come and check out the video. Because I really, I really enjoy this. And, yeah, it's time to clean up. So, see you soon. Bye.